Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix. Your iPhone is lagging and slow after iOS 17.1.1 update or iOS 17.1.2 update. This issue keeps happening for many of the users. Some users even claimed they are having battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth issue after updating to the iOS 17.1 as well as 17.1.2. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the detailed steps which can be done when you're having this issue. The first one is all about you have to close all the background apps if you're having any. For example, let me open this, close this. Once again, I'm opening this and opening this as well. So it is a usual process uh, practice for everyone when you do this app. So what we need to do is just go over here like this. And as you can see, there are apps running in the background just through all these apps, okay? Which means you have to clear all these apps. This is the first and foremost step which can be done. Next step is all about, we have to update all the apps. For this, just go over here in the app store. You have to tap on the profile icon at the top right. Now from here, just keep scrolling down a little bit and you can see there is an option called update all, which means all the apps on your iPhone will be by default, it will be up to date. So just tap on it. If any apps are running in the background, you'll be having these kind of lagging and slow issue. Just tap on update all. And once you're done with this one, you just need to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we have to turn off background app refresh. So just tap over here in the settings, keep scrolling down and navigate to general. Now from here, we have to go for background app refresh. And over here, as you can see, if it is turn it on, tap on this one. If it is turn it on, you have to turn this off, which is very important. You should not be turning this on. You have to turn this off. Once done with this one, we have to try with the full step. That is all about we can try a force restart. So to do a force restart, you have to press volume up, followed by volume down. You have to press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. And once it is successfully done, you can try it will be like a fresh start for your iphone and that is very important as well fifth step is all about you have to make sure that uh, you have you are having enough storage on your iphone so just go over here in the settings now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to general now from here tap on iphone storage and make sure that you're having enough space so if you're not having enough space we'll be having a lot of trouble so make sure that you are having enough space which is very important so you should be having enough space and once after cross-checking with the enough space if you're still fine with it we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to turn off location services so in order to do this we just need to go over here in the settings now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, privacy and security tap over here in the privacy and security and right now as you can see the location service is being turned on we have to turn this off which is very important turn this off once after done with this one, what we need to do is we just need to let me keep this as it is. You have to turn this off. There is one more step that I would like to make you notice. You can try reset old settings, go to the general, keep scrolling down and trans tra tap on transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset, go for reset old settings. Now, even after try with the reset old settings, still, if you're having the trouble, the one and last solution is you have to update the OS to the latest version. Tap over here in the settings. Keep scrolling down and navigate to general. Now go for software update and make sure that you're on the latest version. And if you're having any kind of up availability, for example, I use 17.2, just update it. Keep in mind, for some users, for the some models, updating to the iOS 17.2 even end up in a lot of trouble, like screen flicker and all those things. So make sure that you're, you're not having these kind of issue in the future. So you only update when if it is mandatory from your side or rest, follow the rest steps which I shown in this video. So these possible workarounds can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.